Hi, welcome back to the Guzzy Sound Channel and this is part 5 in the series on my Project 9 DIY modular synth system and in this episode we're going to be looking at the LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator. The LFO that I put in Project 9 is exactly the same design as the LFO I built in my Little Boxes project, which is that one. Now I'm not going to go into great detail about the circuit, how it's built. If you want to have a look at that then check out the Little Boxes video. But essentially it's a strip board design that I got off the Electro Music Forum and it's based around an NE5532 operational amplifier. Very simple oscillator, very easy to build. I just built what was on the uh, strip board diagram and it worked first time. So what I'm more interested in in this video is how it works, how what it does, not so much how it works but what it does and then how we can use the output from the LFO in a modular system to shape the sounds. So let's have a look in a little bit more detail at what the controls are and then we can start and play around and listen to how the LFO fits in with the rest of the modules on my Project 9 modular. This is the LFO. It has two controls and an output. The bottom control I've labelled rate on an audio oscillator that would be frequency um, and there's a, an LED which if we turn this you can see right down the LED flashes to give an indication of the rate. Top control on the circuit design um, the straight output is a square wave but there's kind of a filter built in which you can gradually dial in and as you gradually dial it in it reshapes it to something that approximates to a triangle wave. So if we just take the output from the LFO um, sticking it into a guitar amp, no effects or anything you want to hear what the LFO oscillator actually sounds like a series of clicks. And let's say the filter kind of it uh, reshapes the wave of the LFO. You can't really hear it when you're just listening to the output. But we'll hear what that reshaping does when we start and use the output from the LFO to do other things. So what can you use an LFO for? Right, well, instead of coming out of there, let's take the output from the avalanche oscillator. Sounds like that. If we take the CV out, on the LFO and put it into the CV in on the avalanche. What we're doing now is we are modulating the avalanche frequency with the low frequency from the LFO. So that approximates to a triangle wave does is instead of it being a, a really sharp attack from the LFO, it kind of uh, ramps it so it takes a little bit more time to rise and decay so you don't get as hard a hit. You flick to the higher frequency. Suddenly we can create 
create panic with an alarm sound. Yeah, well that's all good fun. But what else can we do? Okay. Let's trigger the oscillate the avalanche oscillator in the sequence. So now take the output from the avalanche put it through Vactral VCA voltage control and amplifier and then trigger the VCA with the LFO You should see that these are pretty much matched. So the output from LFO is turning the lateral on and off. So you get a kind of a, I don't know if it's vibrato, tremolo, I can never work out what the difference between those two are, I always get them confused. animation to the uh, to the sound. The great thing about a modular system is that you're not restricted to a prescribed signal rule. You can start and stick signals wherever you want to go. What would be interesting is if we could put the output from the oscillator through a filter and then modulate the filter with the LFO signal. Now when I put Project 9 together it has got filters but they are passive filters that don't have a CV input. They are not voltage control filters. You can, if you want to sweep the filter you've got to get all of the knob and turn it. However, I was donated a Vox wah pedal that wasn't behaving itself, well it wasn't working actually, and so a friend of mine gave it to me and said see what you can do with that. So I got it working and then thought right, it's a 9 volt pedal, let's see if I can put some control voltage input on it and put it into my Project 9 system, and essentially what it gives me is a, a voltage controlled filter. This is the Voxwell module. If you want to see how I did all that then there's a, a series of videos that, that describe the process I went through. But for now let's hear what we can do with it if we take the output from the Vactrol VCA Put it into the box wire and we can sweep it. But that's sweeping it manually. If I now go into the CV on the box wire, so the CV now you can see is triggered by the uh, LFO and I now trigger the Vactrol with a beat step
and all sorts of, have all sorts of fun and games with reshaping the sound. So there you go, low frequency oscillator, that's just some of the things it can do. We, we, the patches can get a lot more complicated than this. But it's a very simple circuit. I was able to build it and get it working first time, so if I can do it, then I'm sure you can. So go on, have a go, build your own.